subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Reticulated Python. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Hey, stop it, Hero. What are you doing? It's just a jumping rope, Hero. Did you think it's a snake? Hmm. Why don't you look for snakes in the garden? Just bark if you find one. Don't worry. There are no snakes in this garden. That's impossible. Maybe Hero found another jumping rope. Let's have a look. What is it, Hero? Wow, it's a real snake. And it's so big. And are those its eggs? Hero, don't get too close. It could be dangerous. Don't worry, snake. I'm not going to hurt you or your eggs. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about this snake. There we go. This is a reticulated python. A reticulated python? Yep. Reticulated pythons are one of the largest snakes in the world and are found all around Southeast Asia. One of the largest? How big do they get? They can grow longer than six and a half meters in length, which is like four people standing on each other's shoulders. Normally, they eat small animals like rats and birds, but they're also known to eat dogs, cats, pigs, and even small bears. Pythons normally don't attack people, but to be safe, it's better to keep a distance. Are they poisonous? The correct word to use is venomous. And no, they are not. They're just very strong. Why do you think this python is in a cage? Some people keep pythons as pets. Maybe someone abandoned it when it laid its eggs. Poor python. We've got to get this python and her eggs back into the wild. The city is no place for her. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Here's a good spot for us to stop. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What brings you all the way out here? We found a python with her eggs, Ranger Rocky, and we're gonna set her free. That is a big snake. You know, reticulated pythons are great swimmers and sometimes hang from the branches of trees to attack their prey. Their name comes from the pattern on their skin which looks like a net and helps to hide them in the jungle. What about the mothers and their eggs? They can be quite protective of their eggs, and they can lay up to 80 of them at a time. If you want to find a good place to let it go, look for a place near water, like rivers and lakes. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no, Leo! Hero, be careful! Leo, are you okay? I'm fine, Katie. But the mother python disappeared, and Hero needs our help. Let's go and find Hero. 
No, Leo. Hero led the hippo away from here to protect us. Hippos are extremely aggressive and too dangerous to follow. You're right, Katie. Hero knows what he's doing. He should be fine. Let's look for the mother python, then. If there are hippos, there should be water around. The mother python could be there. We didn't find anything. Normally, it's Hero who helps us find what we need. Look, we're back where we started. Hero! You went back where we last saw you. You're such a smart dog, Hero. Now Hero and the eggs are safe, but only the mother python is still missing. There's the mother python. Let's keep a safe distance. We did it. We found the mother python. Hooray! Yay! We found a python and her eggs in our garden. It was a reticulated python. We learned that reticulated pythons are the largest snakes in the world and that they are great swimmers. So we went to the rainforest and brought the python and its eggs back to its natural home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The green iguana. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Those are juggling balls, Hero. Check me out. Can you pass me another ball, Hero? Thank you. This is getting difficult. Ah! Oh, dear. Let's find those balls, Hero. It's a lizard. Oh, that's a strong tail. I wonder what kind of lizard it is. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, lizard. Hi, Katie. So what did you find about the lizard? Hi, Leo. This lizard is a green iguana, also known as the common iguana. Some green iguanas come in different colors. And they can change their color when they get older. The green iguana you found is still young. An adult iguana can grow up to two meters long. Green iguanas are herbivores. They feed on leafy green plants, flowers, and fruits. Green iguanas can be found in rainforests of Central, South America, and the Caribbean. Green iguanas like to spend most of their time in trees. When they are high up in the tree, they can enjoy the sunlight. Sunlight helps them control their body temperature. Then we should bring our new friend back to the trees in the rainforest. Come and join us. The green iguana would love that, Leo. See you downstairs. Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the rainforest. What did you find in your garden this time? Ah, a green iguana. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We want to return it to its natural home. We found out that green iguanas like to be high up on a tree. Correct, Katie. The coloring of their bodies helps them to blend into the trees. 
However, iguanas still have to keep a constant lookout for predators, like hawks, eagles, or snakes. On top of having excellent eyesight to do just that, green iguanas also have a third eye. The third eye of the green iguana is right on top of the iguana's head. It's also known as the parietal eye. The third eye does not see as normal eyes do, but it can sense movement and change of light. The third eye is particularly useful when iguanas are looking out for hawks and eagles that fly above them. What happens when green iguanas encounter their predators? Green iguanas can put up a good fight with their long tails, sharp teeth, and spines on their bodies. Their dewlaps can be raised to make themselves look bigger, too. Unfortunately, green iguanas face other threats. People like to keep them as pets, but most people don't know how to take proper care of them. Many iguanas in captivity die within a year due to a lack of sunlight or proper food. The green iguana belongs on branches high up in the trees, where it can receive enough sunlight and find food to eat. To find branches that are high enough for plenty of sunlight, you have to go deeper into the rainforest. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. I think this is a good spot for the green iguana. Enjoy, iguana. Let's hope this is the right place for it. Look up there, Leo. It's a hawk, one of the green iguana's predators. Why is the green iguana not running away? Green iguanas blend well into their surroundings. They will stay very still until a predator passes them by. It's too late. Let's use our propellers and distract the hawk. Oh, no! Great move, green iguana! Its tail came off! Now let's get away from here! Poor iguana! Don't worry, Leo. Sometimes green iguanas drop their tails when they are trying to escape from a predator. This might help them get away. The iguana will even grow a new tail. Really? That's great to hear, Katie. We found the green iguana's home. Great work, everybody. Yay! Yay! a green iguana in our garden. We learned that green iguanas like to stay high up in trees to enjoy the sunlight. We also learned that green iguanas like to live near water. So when there's danger, they can escape by jumping into the water. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The honeybee. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I'm a Junior Ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. It's a perfect day for a picnic. We have chocolate cookies, cakes, apples, and bananas. And look, I even have your favorite doggy snacks. Not so fast, Hero. We have to wait for Katie. Let me call her. A bee? Hey, don't go near the cakes. Hero, careful! You're knocking over all the food! I wonder where it came from. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? Hi, Leo. This bee is a honeybee. A honeybee? Yes, a honeybee. There are many different types of bees, but this one is an eastern honeybee. It has distinct golden yellow and brown stripes across its body. Where do they come from? Eastern honeybees come from South and Southeast Asia. 
They can be found in many countries. There, the honeybees collect nectar from flowers by eating the nectar. When these worker honeybees return to the beehive, they give the nectar to other worker honeybees. These honeybees will put the nectar in the honeycomb cells and use their wings to fan it. This will change the nectar into honey. The bees will use the honey as a food source. So that's how honey's made. Hey, what kind of shape is that? That's a hexagon. Honeycomb cells are shaped that way because they use the least amount of beeswax to build a beehive. Honeybees prefer to build their beehives in small spaces, like hollow trees. Hmm. If we want to have a peaceful picnic, we should bring this honeybee back to its beehive. Come and join us. That's great, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the forest. Ah, is that a honeybee? Yes, Ranger Rocky. We are trying to bring him back to his beehive. Not him, Leo. This is a female bee. It's a she. This is clear from her yellow stripes. And all worker bees are female. Worker bees are responsible for gathering nectar, building the honeycomb cells, feeding the babies, Tending to the queen bee... There's a queen? Yes, the queen makes all the baby bees. It has a longer body and smaller wings. The male bees, also known as drones, are rounder in shape and have bigger eyes. These drones only have one job, which is to help queen bees from other beehives make babies. The drones don't have a sting like the female worker bees do. A uh, sting Honeybees only sting if they feel their beehive is in danger. These hard-working creatures just want to protect their colony. Where can we look to help this honeybee find her colony, Ranger Rocky? Hmm. Bees are attracted to brightly colored flowers. Perhaps you can start looking for those. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Here we are at the flower field. I see flowers, butterflies, birds, but no bees. Let's try to look for a beehive in a tree. What is it, Hero? You already found a beehive? Great work! But this bee looks a bit different, though. Careful, Junior Rangers. That's not a honeybee. That's a wasp. And unlike the honeybee, a wasp can be very aggressive. Oh no! More of them are coming out! That's bad news, Leo. Honeybees will die after they sting, but not wasps. They can sting multiple times. You better run! There's some water. Let's take out our snorkel masks and jump right in. That was close. Oh no, where's the honeybee? The jar is gone. It's the honeybee. She's hiding in a honeysuckle flower. Come in, honeybee. We'll make sure we stay far away from those wasps. Goodbye, bee. We did it. We found the beehive of the honeybee. Yay! We found a honeybee in our garden. We learned that honeybees have workers, a queen, and drones, and that they make honey. 
So we went to a forest and found a tree with a hollow that contains a hive. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.